Hi, Jane, this is Mrs. Thoburn. Wanted to wishing you a happy 16th birthday. Uh, Mr. Thoburn is here and he's going to say something too. Hello. <laughs> we, um, I just wanted to tell you how, what a joy it was to have you as a student. You're very, just delightful, hardworking, fun loving, and um, you love, you'd love to do an excellent job. Be seat 16, Jane. We love you. Um, so thankful you're our family. And I just hope you know how loved you are by everyone, by your family, friends, most importantly, that you are so loved by God. I just, am, if I had to, I said this to somebody the other day, if I was like, if I were to have a daughter, I hope she would be just like my sweet, um, I said my niece, because basically I feel like you are, um, but just like you, you are so kind, so loving, but also get in there and have so much fun, and you're so good with little kids and adults, um, yeah, I'm just blown away by you. So thank you for being such a good example to my boys too um, and playing with them and just all the things. I love the time we got to spend last summer and this summer and I hope we get to spend lots more. And as you get your license and go into the world in a different way, I just, um, I remember that so vividly and feeling the freedom in that and freedom to like, you feel even more like an adult. And so I think if I was to turn look back and tell 16 year old Afton something. I think one, I would say to go slow in all areas. Um, but I also think to soak it all in and just enjoy your time as a teenager and to also like spend time with your friends, having fun, but um, also your family and what a gift your sweet relationship with your mom is. And I think I was telling somebody the other day, if I go back and tell my teenager self anything, it would be to just um, what a gift it is for the relationship you have with your mom, that she's your mom, but also a friend and how you can build on that. And just, yeah, why God has gifted you and especially you, an incredible mom um, and a dad who loves you so much too and brother. So I think I would tell myself that, but anyways, I love you. I hope you have a great birthday and I hope we get to see you soon. Much love, sweetheart. Happy 16th birthday, Jane. 16 is gonna be an awesome year. I remember being 16 very well and it was just a wonderful year full of so much fun and so much joy. And we hope that you have an amazing birthday. We love you so much. I personally have loved being a part of an impact small group with you over the past year and you just bring so much to our group so much wisdom so much great thoughts and just great conversations and it's been so much fun to just spend more time with you in that way i hope you have an amazing birthday and know just how much you're loved happy birthday jane happy birthday happy sweet 16. we've been friends for a long time we've known you since before well i've known you before you were even born um <laughs> But I just want to say our whole family loves you. But just Ava and I are going to represent today. Ava's going to go first and then I'll wrap us up. Yeah. Jane, I love the conversations that we have, whether it's about the books or podcasts that our moms are listening to or yeah, theological <laughs> conversations. Um, I admire how diligent you are um, mm -hmm. in all aspects of your yes. life and um, your growing love for Christ. Amen. Well, you kind of stole my last one, but I am just going to be forever grateful that Ava has had a friend throughout all the years of school um, and just growing up that your your guys' faith can be mirrored in one another and strengthen each other in the Lord. And that's just a gift that not many people get. And we're really thankful that it's you, Jane. So happy, happy birthday. We love you. Happy birthday, Jane. I wish you a wonderful birthday. You've always been such a nice and sweet friend and super kind to anyone you meet, and I really admire that about you. One of my favorite memories is whenever we'd go to your house and we would decorate cards or we would make those amazing cookies, which I wish you continue to make because they are so good. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful birthday. I wish you the best. Happy birthday, Jane. I'm so thankful for you and who you are. And I love how your laugh just fills up the 
entire room with joy and I'm just so thankful for who you are and that you're my friend. Hey Jane, just want to wish you a happy 16th birthday and man, time has flown by so fast. I just can't believe how quickly we've been up. Oh, sorry. Grayson. <sighs> Jane, you are so kind and thoughtful. I hope you have a wonderful 16th birthday. Celebrate in a big way. Love you. Bye. Jane, you're gonna be 16, or you are 16 now, geez. 16 years old, where's the time gone? What a sweet girl you are, Jane, we're proud of you. What a fantastic, godly young woman you are. Make the family proud, girl. Leader of your family, leading your brothers, and being such a good example. You're doing a great job. Happy birthday, Jane. We love you. 16, Jane. Honestly, the fact that you are turning 16 already is making me realize just how much you have grown as a person in the short amount of time that I have known you. So, I just wanted to share with you a couple things that I love and cherish about you. First of all, being the fact that you are probably the most considerate and kind person that I know. And I know you probably hear a lot of people say this, but that just makes it even more true. Your willingness to help others has always inspired me to do the same. And I wish that you have a wonderful birthday filled with many wonderful memories. I love you. Bye. Hey Jane, Mr. Jess here. Just want to wish you a happy birthday and give you some advice uh, that I could use when I was 16. When you're driving, tend to on the steering wheel. Look at your blind spots. Three miles per hour max over the speed limit. If you do get pulled over, do not look at the officer and say, is there a problem? I want to wish you a happy birthday. We look forward to celebrating you being 1-6. Hi, Jane. Happy birthday from Aunt Megan. I don't know if you know this fact, but Uncle Charlie, Mallory, and I were the first people to visit you at the hospital when you were born, after me, Ma, and Pops. We were returning home from a friend's wedding, and we got the text message that you were born. So instead of taking the ferry home, we drove around and stopped to see you. I have no great words of wisdom <clears throat> regarding turning 16. To me, that was 47 years ago. Wow, nearly two generations passed. What I can tell you is that life goes by very fast. Don't be in a rush to grow up. Take time to travel, see new things, try new things. Meet new people, experience different cultures. Take the opportunities whenever you can. Don't wait for the someday. Maybe make it a bucket list now and don't wait until you're older or retired. Start checking things off your bucket list now. Good luck, Jane. Love you, sweetie. Happy, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday to you. It's a party, a party, a party today. A once a year occasion, a birthday celebration. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday to you. Hi, Jane. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Um, can't believe you're 16. The time has just flown by so yeah, fast. Grayson, I'm trying to record. <laughs> happy 16th birthday, Jane. Oh my goodness, I can't believe you're 16. And driving. I hope you're as good of a driver as I am. You ought to ask your mom about that. Um, I have just always enjoyed how, even when you are three years old, you've been able to hold a full-on conversation with anybody. Very engaging, so smart, so much fun to watch, especially when you were bartering with Uncle Doug for your artwork. Um, and uh, I'm just so proud of you. You're so smart and such a beautiful young lady. And I've always been just impressed with how you take care of your brothers and all the people around you, making sure everybody is okay. And 
Uh, you're just a joy to be with, and I just love you so much. And I know I'm your favorite aunt. I won't tell anybody. It's our secret. Um, but I love you, and I hope you have a great birthday. Okay, okay, okay. Happy 16th birthday, Jane. See this picture? This is why you're sweet to me. You've always looked like this cutest little thing ever since you were born. You have the best giggle, the best laugh, a great sense of humor. We always have so much fun together and I look forward every time to being with you and seeing you. The thing I think I like the most, though, is our talks that we have and just about everything that we talk about, especially when we talk about the Lord and the Bible and our faith. That's the best. And I know that you love the Lord and will continue. And I think that's just how you're going to be. And that's my prayer for you and my hope for you. And it's a joy to see. So we'll have fun at your birthday, saying more great things about you. But for now, just sending love from Idaho. And happy 16th birthday, sweets. Hi, Jane. Here we are at the top of a mountain looking out at Denali, which is actually behind me. It's hard to see. But I know your family loves to do adventures, and so here we are. Happy birthday, and I know you and Emma have been friends for so long, and it's been so great to get to know you and your family, your brothers, and your mom and dad, and your grandparents. And I would just say, have a great birthday. It's hard to believe that you're 16 and growing up so fast, already a sophomore in high school. and. I just hope that you will continue to adventure as you love to do, especially with your family, and keep Jesus in your heart, and he'll go with you wherever you go. Happy birthday. Go. Happy birthday, my sweet Jane, from the top of a mountain looking out at Denali, which is somewhere over there. Um, standing up here reminds me just how much you love adventuring, and I hope that you always keep that in your heart. We've had so many adventures together from learning how to do the monkey bars, to playing with dolls, to just sitting and talking and growing up together. And I'm so thankful for the friendship I have in you and you always know exactly when I need a hug. And I am so thankful for that. Keep being the sweet, amazing friend you are and happy birthday. Bye. Hey Jane, happy birthday. Thank you for being such a sweet friend to me this year. It was really great meeting you, and freshman year was so fun. Um, I hope our sophomore year is really great together. I appreciate how thoughtful and generous and sweet you are, and you give, like, the best hugs ever. Um, and I also love your sweet smile and your laugh. They're just really amazing, and they light up the room. Um, I want to say happy birthday, and I hope this next year of your life is really blessed and really great. And we won! Happy birthday, Jane. I just can't believe you're 16. It's just, man, time's flown by so fast. But I just wanted to send you a special birthday message and just say that it's, you know. Since. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jane. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I cannot believe you were 16 years old. <sighs> I don't know where the time went. Um, I hope you have just an amazing, wonderful, wonderful day. Um, and I can't wait to see you soon. Love you. Bye. Happy birthday, Jane Jane. Oh my gosh, 16 years old. I am so excited for you. Happy, happy birthday. I wanted to share with you what I've been thinking about these last two weeks of what I would tell my 16 year old self. Um, my biggest thing that I've been thinking about is 
not to be true to myself. And here's what I mean. We live in a world that's just hard, full of sin, and things that um, are wrong and sinful are okay. They are. And not just um, outward appearance, not outward sin that we, we can physically see, but also in our heart of hearts, like um, being hard-hearted and prideful and feeling above, the, above other people and being entitled, feeling entitled. Um, it's all that that's been accepted as the norm. And because we've been encouraged to follow our heart and follow our gut and and you can do it and be true to yourself and who you are. And my encouragement is not to do that. Don't be true to yourself. You are a Christ follower. Your desire should be to be true to, to the Lord. And a lot of things that you might feel and see and be tempted with are not going to be true to the Lord. Where they might be accepted by people and they might be their truth, their truth, it's not the truth, it's not God's truth. And so just to take a look at all the temptations and the, again, this is all physical temptations, but also heart temptations of take a look at it and, and pray and ask the Lord and read your Bible and, and um, uh, really be true to what God says about things. And two scripture that I wanted you to look up was Proverbs 14, 12 and John 12, 12, 24 through 25. Happy birthday. I love you, love you, love you. Happy 16th birthday, Jane. My advice is that a lot is going to change over the next few years, but remember God doesn't change and he'll always be faithful to you. Feel free to call Nate or I if you ever need anything. We love you. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh Happy birthday, Jean. Uh, Jane, our family wishes you such a wonderful 16th birthday. And maybe in your 16th year, you'll realize, <coughs> if you haven't already, that things are not often as they seem. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jane. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> hey Jane, happy birthday. Um, so I was just, I prayed about you. Um, and the words that I felt like God was telling me was that you are an avenger. Um, of the week and that you have a big heart um, and that you are strong hearted. Um, and I also just wanted to tell you that you are anointed with specific callings, that God loves you. And I just hope that um, this next year is really special. Happy birthday. Do you have that map on Canterbury? Oh, uh, yeah, it's somewhere. Oh, oh, here, here it is. It's in yeah. this? Yeah, it's in there, yeah, right there. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's there somewhere. You know, just thinking, Norm, it's been 16 years since we were planning that RV trip around the United States. And our planning changed because sweet baby Jane was due any day, and we didn't want to miss it. Such a big day. We're grandparents. Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet baby Jane. What a jubilant time. And she's been such a joy ever since. She's really been a joyful kid. And that song seemed to fit so well at that time. James Taylor. I remember singing it in Acadia National Park. I had to retrofit it a little bit to make it work to Sweet Baby Jane. But uh, I sang it also down in the Everglades. And mm -hmm. finally, in person, I was able to sing it to her. You guys went for a small hike. And... I was there, she was swaddled in that stroller on the rim of the Grand Canyon, and I sang it to her. The song went something like, there's a song they sing when they take to the highway, a song they sing when they take to the sea. A song that they sing to their home in the sky, maybe you can believe it if it helps you, helps you to sleep, 
but singing works just fine for me. Singing hmm. works fine just for me. Oh, go for it. So good night to you, moonlit lady. Rock a bye, oh sweet baby Jane. Deep greens and blues are the colors I choose. Oh, let you go down in my dreams. And rock a bye, sweet baby Jane. And Jane, you rock. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Jane. Well, my goodness, you've turned 16. That's quite an achievement, you know, these days. <clears throat> uh, Jane, since you've been born, you've given us so many wonderful things to remember you by and so many great times <clears throat> that we've spent together. You've turned into a remarkable young lady. I'm so proud of you. Uh, I want you to know that I was, if I was to give you some advice, I would tell you to just keep doing what you're doing because it's turning out just grand. <clears throat> I do have a, a Bible verse or two I'd like to share with you. It's Psalms chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. Uh, the first two verses say, My son, um, just change those to my granddaughter and then read and contemplate those. They're remarkable pieces of scripture. I love you, Jane. Sir, we heard that you know Jane Oni. How do you know Jane Oni? Well, that, that little sidewinder, well, she's my niece. And I heard she was turning 16, and I'm going to cash in on this here painting to get me some money. She even signed it, and I'm going to be rich one day. Yes, sir. Happy birthday, Jane. All right, peace and quiet now. Hi, Jane. Um, just want to wish you a happy birthday and a 16th birthday. Pretty soon, you're going to be driving, and it's just going to be so cool. Such a step of independence. Dad, where are we going? Grayson, where did you come from? You stinker. <laughs> happy birthday, Jane, and greetings from Texas. I hope you have a wonderful next year, that you continue to grow in your friendships with others and excel in your studies, and that you enjoy cross country. And also, congratulations on being a driver. Praying for a great next year and that you continue to grow, most importantly, in your relationship with God. Oh, and by the way, check your school email. Okay. Let them do their thing. Happy 16th birthday, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, send uh, all the outtakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 one, two, three, go. go. Okay. okay, hold on. Sit. Don't do anything. Happy, happy 16th birthday, birthday Jane. Jane. One, two, three, go! Hey, happy birthday, Jane. It's been a really long time since I've seen your face, and I hear that you're going to be 16, which is amazing. I remember when your mom was pregnant with you, and I got to come to your shower and we prayed for all the fun things that you would get to do when you grew big. And so it's fun seeing you grow up over Facebook and um, through texts from your mom and dad. And um, it's just your joy to be around. So happy birthday. Enjoy your special day. Bye. Have a good job, Three, Jane. Three, two, one. Happy, happy birthday, Jane. Jane. Jane and I know you'd have fun here with all the baseball stuff going on but us cousins are all so happy that you're uh, getting so old we can't believe you're that old yet actually but um, <laughs> you're the oldest of all the third cousins here and and uh, have always been a good example to everybody God bless you Jane happy, happy birthday, birthday. Bye -bye. hello Jane it's Uncle Cave from Chicago happy 16th birthday I hope you're having a great summer. See as many countries as you can. 
eat as many different types of food as you can, meet as many different types of people as you can, go out and absorb the world. Don't set any limitations on yourself for where you can go, what you can do, or what's out there. Um, I'm still doing it today and I have no regrets. It's uh, probably for me, one of the greatest things about life. So I hope you take that with you. I hope you have a great birthday and I love you. Hey Jane, this is Taylor and Angela coming to you from Lake Colchuck in Leavenworth. And we wanna wish you a happy 16. Jane, we're so excited for you. We remember when you were a baby and your parents came over to our house and would watch The Office with us. And it has come a long way, but you are uh, an adult now, or young adult, and it's so exciting to see how much you've grown. And in our house, we like to do top five lists a lot. So Angie and I came up with a top five list to help you in the year ahead and hopefully uh, in the future. So number one, Angie, take it away. Okay, what was number one? Oh, to stay in the word. <laughs> And even when times are tough, just to be reading your Bible regularly in college and all that. That's great. And okay. number two, we said have adventures. Find ways to get outside, go on trips, do new experiences, and have a lot of fun. Specifically, Jane, taking advantage of like mission trips or one of my things was I never went on a J-term trip in college and I really really look back and I'm like, man, I had these opportunities and I didn't do them. So we would love for you to have a global perspective and travel the world if possible. Number three, we said was taking care of your body. So doing things like staying hydrated, working out, stretching. Your dad, unfortunately, has uh, seen me stretching for about a decade now. Um, but it's important, right? You got to stay limber, got to stay loose. You don't want to pull a hammy, right? That's not a good thing. Um, what was number four? I don't remember, but one of mine, <laughs> one of mine was, if you can, as soon as you save enough money, oh, yeah. you should buy a house or a duplex, rent out the other side to your friends, and then all of a sudden you're house hacking at age nineteen, twenty. So start saving. I remember the fifth one. I'm ready. Okay, it was surrounding yourself with the right people. Right, so it's, it's finding people that love you, believe in you, encourage you, lift you up, that are about making sure you're success, successful, excuse me, and to uh, just be in your corner when, time gets, when times get hard. So hope this helps. We love you, we are proud of you, and we hope that your mom and dad decided to buy you a Tesla Model S, and I can't wait to go for a test drive in it. All right, happy birthday, we love you. Happy birthday, Jane! Hi Janie, happy birthday. Um, I just am in love with you and I'm so blessed to be part of your life. And um, I remember when you were just an itsy bitsy baby and I can't believe it's been 16 years. Um, so I'm just so happy that you're getting older and I'm not. And um, I think if I was to go back and tell myself something when I was 16, I think I would tell myself that it's okay if you don't get an A. Um, try hard, but life also is not about A's. Um, I also would tell myself that it's okay when you have friends that are for a season, which is probably something, I don't know, I know you have lifelong friends right now, but um, as you go off and journey into college or wherever life takes you, You'll have friends that are just seasonal friends, um, and then you'll have friends that are lifetime. Um, and all of that is beautiful and wonderful, and they're made to be in your life for a reason and a season. And knowing that is just so important. And the last thing I would tell myself is that there is a world much bigger than you can imagine. And to say yes when God is calling you, because when you do your world is just, your life is just blessed. And um, and you experience things in all of his wonder and his glory. And it's just this beautiful thing. And so those would be the things I would tell myself when I was 16. And to stop at a stoplight that I missed. But, meh, details. Um, happy sweet 16th birthday. I wish you nothing but the best. Um, all my love. Take care. Hi, Jane. I hope you are having an amazing 16th birthday 
and I hope it was everything you asked for. Congratulations on turning another year older, and I can't wait for what God has planned for you in the rest of your life. Happy birthday. Jane, hope you have a great birthday. I love hanging out with you this summer. Hope we can do it again. Happy birthday, happy 16th. And Jane, thank you for being so nice to me. I hope we can see you again. Love you, bye. Happy birthday, Jane. I hope you have a good birthday. Happy driving. <laughs> next, time, next time I'll see you guys, you need to drive us to ice cream, pronto. <laughs> Have a have have a good birthday. Go. Happy birthday, Jane. <laughs> Jane, happy sixteenth birthday. I can't believe you are sixteen already and man, time has just flown by so fast. What are you doing? What the what are you doing back there? Dad, where's Jensen? Dude, seriously, every time, guys. Hi, Jane. Happy 16th birthday. Um, I am visiting a home. The last time I was here was when I was 14 years old, visiting my aunt's home in Texas. Um, I wanted to send you this video just to tell you happy birthday and how special you are to me and always have been and always will be. And I was going to say, if I were 16, I am 58. But if I were 16 again, I think the thing that I would want to know or want to really believe is just how precious I, I was to God at that time and how precious you are to God, how much he loves you and how he's always going to be there for you every step of your life. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. I love you and I hope I see you soon. Bye. Jane, happy birthday. 16 years old oh my goodness i'm so happy for you this is just it is one of those milestone birthdays that i think everybody always remembers and i was thinking back to when i turned 16 and what advice would i give to the younger nate and um kind of what i landed on was this to rest more to learn how to rest and make space in my life just to um, enjoy the lord um, to enjoy being where I am, not maybe where I wish I would be, and to learn how to trust him. I actually have been thinking a lot this, this whole year. It's kind of been my, my for me and Sean, one of our scriptures we've been meditating on is Psalm 127. I'm just going to share some words from that now. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen stays awake in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved sleep. You're a very gifted young woman. God has blessed you um, with just with an extraordinary mind and so many gifts and I think you have so much to offer to this world and my encouragement to you is to trust in the Lord and what he is doing with you, to take some time um, actually to organize your life in such a way that there is margin in it for you just to kind of enjoy being 16, to just have fun and be goofy with, with your friends, to stare out the window, to uh, keep reading books that have nothing to do with school but are just for fun. <laughs> you know, all of those things are really special and I think um, making that space for, for ongoing rest in your life, even right now as a 16-year-old, as a um, will do something to your spirit that in the long run will, um, will really multiply your impact on this world. So that's just my encouragement to you is to keep finding times to rest, enjoy life, enjoy the Lord. And I'm so excited to get to be one of those people who kind of has the uh, the ringside seat to see what God is doing in you and through you as you grow up. What a blessing that is. So God bless you and God bless your family. Bye. Happy birthday, Jane. Make sure you explore the world, read lots of good books, and enjoy your sweet 16. You're 16, Jane. 
Happy 16th birthday, Jean Ani. I pray that today you know how amazing you are, how fearfully and wonderfully made you are, and what a joy it is for us to get to know you. It has been such a blessing the last five years to see you grow and mature into this amazing young woman that you are today. You are kind and loyal and faithful, but you are also fierce, Jane Honey. You are fiercely loyal to your friends and your family and the Lord. You are bold. Um, I Some of my favorite memories of you will be your speech meet piece where you proclaimed the word of God with such truth and beauty and strength and power. I love that you know and you have the word of God knitted in your heart and you are the woman God made you to be. And you are able to be confident and just be that person. Another one of my favorite memories of you, Jane Ani, is will be watching you play and hang out with the younger students at Cordeo because you just exude this beauty and this grace and this joy in playing with them and you make them feel so loved. And honestly, my memory is actually not watching you play with them, but watching them look at you because they would look at you with such joy and awe of like Jane Ani is playing with me because you would make them feel so special and so loved. And that Jane is a gift. So I have two pieces of advice for you as you head in to this new exciting year of life. Number one, Jane, dream big, fly, or shall we say, drive away into greatness. Never doubt what you can do. You are capable of so much. Never let fear or doubt stop you. Number two, I pray that as you drive away and you fly into this next season of life, I pray that you remember who you are. Always remember that you're an Ani and that you are loved by your family. But more importantly, remember that you are a faithful daughter of the Most High King. And no matter what you do or where you go in life, he is always going to love you. And he is always going to be there for you. And that is who you are. So Jane, fly and drive. We love you. Bye. Hi, Dane. Okay, for real this time, I think it's going to happen uninterrupted. <laughs> if I do get interrupted, it was not scripted. I just want to say happy birthday to you. I can't believe you're 16 already. Um, but being your dad has been one of the biggest joys of my entire life. I'm so proud of you. I am proud to be your dad. And... Um, you bring such a fulfillment to my life that I believe is ordained and created by God. I'm so glad that I have a daughter, and I'm so glad that it's you. I treasure a relationship, and um, I want it to grow even more and more. And I hope as you continue to get older that you still love your dad and make, make time for your old man. And... Um, that we get to spend more time together and make more memories together. And um, obviously our relationship will change as the years go by. And as you find some young, handsome, strapping young man um, and start a family of your own. But I will never um, stop being your dad, but that role will change obviously. So, um, but I just love you so much. I think the world of you um, and it brings me a lot of joy when I know that everyone else thinks the same thing truly blessed by God to have such a incredible daughter like you and um yeah so you you just you make my life so full and complete your joy your smiles your fun um yeah I just love it so much I am very excited for the future for you because you have such a good head on your shoulders you have a deeply rooted and solid faith in Jesus Christ and that gives me so much peace and, um, yeah, I just think that nothing will stop you of what you want to do and from a life that will bring you fulfillment and peace and not that it's about, um, what you would seek or you would want, but, um, as you follow Jesus, there will be 
a lot of joy and a lot of blessings. Uh, so I'm so proud of you. I love you so much. Hope you have a happy birthday and I hope that you feel treasured and blessed uh, by those that love you. And I hope that you receive an outpouring of love from your friends and family on your 16th birthday. All right, my dear, I love you. Bye-bye. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jane. This is so exciting. What a big year, big thing to celebrate. If I could tell 16-year-old Audrey something, one thing, I think I would tell her that she's so loved by God and by the people around her exactly where she's at. Not perfect, but still wonderful in her own way. Growing and wonderful. And I guess if I could tell 16 year old Jane one thing, it would be that you are such a light and an encouragement to the people around you. You're so deeply loved and treasured and you're a delight to get to celebrate. Happy birthday, Jane. Oh, you caught me. Hey Jane. Happy 16th birthday. I hope you're having a wonderful uh, birthday celebration. But man, it just seems like yesterday uh, that you were just this little girl. And I just wanted to let you know that I think so many great things of you. You are caring, helpful, and thoughtful. And if you continue to abide by uh, those ways that you have lived your life already uh, throughout your life, you will look back uh, one day and remember all of the amazing opportunities you were afforded because of who you are. Stay strong in what you believe and do what you think is right. Love you, Jane. Bye. Happy birthday, Jane. I love how kind and friendly you are in every situation. You always try to make people feel better and more welcome. You have always been such a good friend to me and I'm so glad I get to call you my friend. I hope you have a great birthday. Happy birthday, Gino. I hope you're surprised and encouraged by um, all that you get to experience today. Um, just as a word of encouragement, I wanted to reach out and um, when I was 16, when I was your age, everything in life felt a little bit more intimidating to me and overwhelming. And I think that was because I didn't know how to view God as a gracious and loving God. And I think I really struggled with um, just being afraid that if I didn't make the right decisions, that somehow um, God wouldn't be able to either bless my decisions or um, I, I would just find myself in pits that I couldn't get out of. So I just wanted to encourage you as you are thinking about being 16 to continue to view God as a loving father and as someone who's gracious with you and who's not punitive and looking to hammer you um, for every wrong turn. Happy birthday, Jane. <laughs> Can't believe you're 16. Such an exciting time in your life. I uh, just wanted to say I love your uh, hardworking attitude. You're so personable and um, just really admire your love for the Lord. So um, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. And what did you want to say? Happy birthday. Hope you have a good day. Hey, Jane. Happy birthday, sweet girl. Love you. I cannot believe that you are turning 16. Oh, my goodness. Where does the time go? I honestly remember one of the first times ever meeting you. Your mom and dad brought you to the lake house. And you probably don't want me to tell you this, but we all got the biggest kick out of them pushing your legs up onto your belly and making you toot like nothing else. It was quite funny. But anyway, on a serious note, I could not love you more. I can't even express to you how much I love you. You've been an amazing kid since the day you were born. Continue to be you, be kind, have that amazing, beautiful heart that you have and you will do absolutely wonderful things in the world. Can't wait for the next chapters in your life and to see you blossom even more. Love you, happy birthday. Hi Jane, I think you're the best cousin ever and you're really good at art. I love you, happy birthday. Jane Ani, 
have fun celebrating your 16th birthday um, with you and your family. I have truly enjoyed getting to know you as a person and as a friend. You are such a sweet and caring person, and I have truly enjoyed every interaction that we've had with each other. I especially enjoy all of the get-togethers that you and your mother would plan, and the cookie decorating and the card designing were my favorites. I am so thankful to have met you, and I truly hope that you continue to be such a good friend and such an outgoing person with meeting new people and to continue making new friends and making new relationships with others. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. You're a hundred and two. You look like a 16 year old. Happy birthday to you. You're a hundred and two. You look like a 16 year old and you smell like one too. Happy birthday, Jane! Happy, Happy 16th birthday, Jane! I can't believe that you're 16 years old today. And I want to tell you happy birthday. And I'm not the only one who wants to tell you happy birthday. So there are many people, Jane, out there who love you and you know who they are. And just a handful of them want to tell you happy birthday in their own words. 